Okay, race 24 on the final race of the day here. Start was all at season nine. Here's the Betfair Handicap Chase. As you can see, there's 15 runners of so two and a half miles and up to 140. Mary Mungo and Midges, top of the pile for the fight if you favourite. Two is Gilda for Kevin Meanhand. Three is Molto, Stupid Omol Yet Surfer. And then Thick Smoke for David Robertson. Beggar's Gate for Jim Murray. Doug's Musty for Stu Gray. Traditionalist for Paul Rhodes, the Hurdler. Long Glen Carrig, Martin Leedham. Brazilian Orangey Boom for Daron Thompson. Norman Bread for Del Hinton. Treasure Gate for Jim Murray. Samala Falcon for James Follis. Winter Bacuse for Kevin Meanhand. And Vidaville for Alex Cherry. And Petra Girl for Doug Warren makes up 15. Over two and a half miles here at Newbury to finish the week. The star has got him away. Swing left handed here. Coming to the home straight first off. The one that's at the sort of centre of the course that's moving over towards the fences. Kevin Mean hands a winter because he gets to the far and he goes. He went straight through that fence there. I don't know if that was unseating your jockey or just throwing your horse through the, through the fence. He made no effort there. Bad luck, Kevin. And we're being led by traditionalists as they come down to the third. It's traditionalists from Malto Stupo, Mormon bread. They're all over that. And the show jumps at the rear. But it's traditionalists and Malto Stupido from Norman Bread. There you one, two, three. Then we've got Beggar's Gate and Samal of Falkham. They're over the fourth of sixteen. Two miles still to travel. It's traditionalist and Malto Stupido. Norman Bread, Samala, Falcon, Mary Mungo, and Midge against the fence. Beggar's Gate. Out wide is Treasure's Gate. Then we've got Thick Smoke, Brazilian and Orangey Boom. Dunks Musty up towards the fence. Inside of that is Petro Girl. And then just at the rear at the moment is Mary Mungo and Midge. Lordling Carrigan Vidaville. We've only lost one. So we finally get past the stands. There's the winning post. It's going to be left hand down. And it's traditionalist that's going to lead us. And this tight bend here. The ones that are going to get caught here are going to be Darren Thompson's Brazilian Orangey Boom. We didn't lose too many lengths. We hung on in there. Grey thick smoke for David Robertson. But up front is still traditionalist. Then we've got the loose horse, which is Winter Bacuz. The six now. Still Dunks Musty and Petro Girl against the fence. Treasure's Gate looking around the ground. The outside of that is Thick Smoke. They're all starting to still a fair few of them wide. One right at the rear is Vidaville as they go over the ditch. Seven. We lost another one there. Samala Falcon and seated his jockey. Unlucky Daniel. He's your only runner in the race. And it's traditionalist that still leads us from Beggar's Gate in second. They get to the eighth, which is halfway through the fences. So another eight fences to jump over a mile and a quarter to run. So it's traditionalist. Beggar's Gate, they're together now. Petro Girl joins in. Molto Stupido and Thick Smoke, Doug's Musty, Treasure Gate and Gilda. Hasn't been mentioned and one's gone and it's Gilda that's gone. I shouldn't have called his, called his name. Sorry, Kevin, that's both yours out of it. So up front though, still it's traditionalist from Petro Girl. Doug's Gusty's, Monk's Musty's brood moved up into third. Poor jumper there by Norman Bread. So it's traditionalist and Petro Girl. They're together now. They're inside the final mile. A couple of lengths back to Doug's Musty and Lord Clem Carrig. Norman Bread. And Jim's Treasure Gate and Beggar's Gate. Well, it's Surfer's Moto Stupido. Still wide is Thick Smoke. And widest of all again is Brazilian Orangey Boom. And they're just followed through by Mary Mungo and Midge and Vidaville at the rear. But back up front is still traditionalist. Petro go in a little bit of trouble with the loose horse. And it's traditionalist that leads them over the 11th. Jumps it well, as does the rest of them. But it's still traditionalist. Petro girls manage to shake off the loose horse. May cause problems for Long Glen Carrig on the inside. Outside of that is Norman Bread making a good move now. With Treasure Gate, Doug's Musty. The other gate is moving, which is Beggars. But up front is traditionalist going to be taken on by Norman Wisdom. Oh, Mr. Grimsdale, it's traditionalist and Norman Bread over the 12th. They lead, but Beggar's Gate still there. Treasure Gate, Petro Girl running on and still out wide is Brazilian Orangey Boom. Doug's Musty's having another go, but it's traditionalist inside the three furlongs now. Traditionalist gets to the three from home and he still leads by four to Norman Bread, Beggar's Gate. 
Brazilian Orangy Boo, Petro Girl, Treasure Gate, Lord Glen Carrick, Doug's Musty, but still up front and leading by five is Traditionalist. Inside the two now from Norman Bread in second. Everyone's under a lot of pressure now to try and catch this leader, but he's slowing down the, at the front as they take the last, which is the water, and he's just stopped on Traditionalist as Norman Bread starts to draw alongside inside the furlong, running on really well is Lord Glen Carrick, but it's Norman Bread. Norman Bread. He's going to take it. Another Dell win. Norman Bread. Named after Norman Wisdom. Oh, the bread bit comes into it. Oh, he was a big fan of bread. Begin. Anyway, Norman Bread takes it for Dell Hinton. Good win there. Well done. Lord Glen Craig for Martin Needham got up for second. Third was Treasure Gate for Jim Murray. Long time leader, traditionalist for Paul Rhodes, who's a, a much better hurdler than he is a chaser. And the fifth was Brazilian Orangey Boon for Darren Thompson. That's the lot for the week. And we'll see you, not the week, tomorrow for day three.